O ki rawa mai ki te kāinga nei, kei te tipu ngā mā harahara ki te oranga tonu tanga o tētahi o te tini a tangaroa e ngā kau nui tia nei e te marea puta noa i te ao. E ruku ana te manatū ahumahi ki te tango tango i ngā teo o ngā pāmu teo o rakiura, kua raru nei i te ngau a tētahi ngā ngarakino. E whakai ana a ngai tahu kia pērā tia e rā teo pirau, i nā koa he wāhanga nui tō rātou a rātō ngai tahu ki tau a rāngai. Kei motu pō hue a Irena Smith. E taonga, he kai rongo nui no te rohe o Murihiku. Pearl set on bluff ground, so proudly we display. If we don't act now, our generations will lose our wild fishery. Kei te tino mā harahara te pakehi kai moana o ngaitahu, kei te pātū ngā tio o te ara kewa, i te mate kua pāngia tū ki e tahi pāmu tio o tēnei rohe. Boats from those farms keep crossing the strait, of course the oyster beds are there, so the spread of that is very, very real. The threat of that banamia getting into the straits and decimating our wild fishery is huge. Nō te rātau, ka whakatū wherahia tēnei whiketere kai moana hou e te iwi. Kei wainga nui pū rātau i te wahanga o te tau e hauhake ana ngā tio. Oysters was a big part of the componentry, I guess, of the setup of our factory. We've got about 60 or 70% of our staff make up our labour force who process oysters every season. And obviously looking in towards the future, it is a big worry for us. E oi kua putai te manatū ahu mātua te whakatau, ka hau hake hia ngā tio kua pai tinitia. We've probably got about another month or two before our quota was caught. And we only hope that, I guess, that A, we can stop the spread, and B, that we can continue to fish, not only now but for generations to come. Ka hui tahi ngā māngai no te manatū ahu mātua me ngā kai pāmu tio a pōpō. Kia whakatauria te rau taki hei aukati i te ngā rara nei. Irana Smith, te karere.